Hello, hello, Ederson Oliveira here. This is another video review of DNA9 and today we'll be talking about manage sites. So I'm logging here as super user. I'm gonna go to manage sites. In this view, this functionality is the same one that used to be found on previous versions of DNN, like DNN8, under host site management. Those are the portals, the sites that are hosted within this instance of DNN. In our case, we just have one domain, we just have one portal. But let's have a look at what we see here. We see the site ID, which is an internal number for, for DNN to identify this site, which it's called as well a portal. How many users we have on the site, which here, this is an out-of-the-box DNN 9 installation. We just have one user, which is the admin user. We have pages here, the, the number of pages on the site, and we have the when the site was updated for the last time, which it says four days ago. Then if you move the mouse over the the current site, you know, the site that we have, or any of the site that any of the sites that are on the list, we can see the icons of view sites, which will jump to that site. We can see the site settings, which was covered on a separate on a separate video. As you can see, if I click there, site settings come up. I'm going to go back there to sites. And if we click on the last one, we will be able to export this site as a template. And all those features, they existed on previous versions of DNN. So if I click there, I'll be able to export the site. I can specify the template name and there's nothing new here. It's just a different layout, as you can see, a, a slicker layout, a faster layout, but nothing different here as compared to previous versions of DNN. You can put the template name, the template description, you can specify what content should be included, if we should include roles as well, if we, could, if we should include files, and we can also select which pages we want to export in this site template. So you can either cancel or create template and it saves a file, an XML file with the site templates. So no big difference here from, in, in a, from a, a, a standpoint of functionality. It's very much the same as we could find on previous version of DNN, but of course, a new interface. I'm gonna cancel this. And just for the sake of test, because there's not much else going on here, I'm just gonna click on add new site and I'm tr gonna try to create a child site of this main domain, which I can just say test child. I could put a description. I'm gonna leave it as the default template and you can, and this is just a terminology change here. You can create a new site as a domain. So it's a full domain. It's not a child of this domain, or you can create it as a, as a directory, which used to be called a child portal. So as you can see, it repeats the domain that it's specified at the top on the URL, and it gives the site URL based on the title. I can just change this a little bit here. I'm just gonna call this test child without spaces. And I also have the option to have the current admin of this site to also become the admin of the new site. In our case, we're creating a directory. This is just the location of the, of the site root within the DNN file system. Nothing new here, just a little change of terminology when it's it, now it says instead of a parent it says domain instead of a child it says directory just gonna hit create site by the way i have not tried this before up front so let's see how this goes perfect so as you can see we have a new entry here for our new site now if we move the mouse over we can also delete this site and we can view it as well let's let's have a look at and see it. Yep, yeah, you see, now we're loading as a directory of the main domain. And this is the new child site. This is a new portal that we have just created. This is a new site. And show some statistics here on the site as well. And I'm going to click on delete. 
yes and we are back with just one site under manage sites so that's it that's there's not much going on here but this is the equivalent on previous versions of dnn of uh host site management that's about it talk to you in the next dnn 9 video review bye